officially on the way to Justin's house and from his house because he lives in San Mateo we're gonna take an uber to SFO and today begins the start of my 27 day trip to Vietnam so what's going on guys I definitely wanted to take a second and just explain everything in the previous clip first off though my name is Ed I'm new to this vlogging thing and I've always had a passion about traveling and seeing new things learning cultures so I'm using this trip as a great kind of stepping stone on this trip I'm heading to Vietnam Vietnam's a great place for me because I'm actually Vietnamese American I'm gonna have a chance to see culture see my family I haven't seen in years and go to different places all over the country that my parents told me they never got a chance to see before they left so I hope you guys follow all along and enjoy you ready all right so we just came through security and now we're on the way to where to the bathroom to the gate <laughs> to the gate really little backstory justin bought his ticket just four days before this trip i called him up i said yo we did it once we're gonna do it again i need a partner in crime and he accepted thanks buddy thank you yeah. thank you so yeah, it should be interesting. We have about 13 hours till we get to China. Instead of making you watch my layover, I'll give you some free travel advice. If you're going to Vietnam, it requires a visa. Print your visa before you get there. Justin did not listen to me after I told him repeatedly. So we just got to Vietnam. A little bit later than I thought we were going to be. We were supposed to arrive at 12.50. I just got through customs. It's about 1.30. Justin had to go get his visa. Um, so it took a little bit longer. He's in the custom lines now. We should be heading out in about 20 minutes. Because we're arriving at nighttime in Vietnam, there's actually no one in the airport. But if you're arriving during the daytime, there'd be hundreds of people patiently waiting to see family members that they hadn't seen in years. It's a really crazy experience. It gets kind of emotional. Okay, so today is October 31st. It's like four in the morning, Vietnam time. Justin and I just got to our Airbnb. But we settled in, when got uh, kind of acquainted with a uh, 7-Eleven, got some food delivered, uh, some great Vietnamese street food, right Justin? Yep. What did you get? Got that pork with rice, the but vegetables. Pork with rice with some vegetables. That's what we're talking about. At this point, we just both decided to call it a night. We just ate a meal and we just really did travel for 24 hours plus. Um, we're gonna check back in with you guys in the morning. Good night. I'm in. Uh, I'm in Quan. I'm in District Four right now. So right now I just crossed over into District One. The bridge I just crossed right there um, is the divider, basically. That's District Four. This is District One. This is where uh, the famous Bunton Market is, and where Independence Palace is, and the famous Cathedral. So I'm gonna take a walk over to uh, Bunton Market and from there I'll figure out what we gotta do. I have to get a SIM card and exchange some money. So let's go guys. So this is how to successfully cross the road in Vietnam. So they're not gonna stop for you. There's not a lot of traffic on this street, but once you start to cross, you just wanna put your hand out. You wanna put your hand out and you wanna just keep walking as they come towards you because they'll slow down. But if you don't walk at a constant pace, um, it's harder for them to predict when you're gonna stop. So you just gotta make sure you do. Now let's talk Vietnamese vibe. So walking around is the most important thing. When you're out there, you're gonna see the most and feel the most and get to know the locals. That's the best way to see everything. Vietnamese people are so friendly and they're literally trying to speak to you even if you don't speak the language They'll try to communicate so be friendly and be open. So honking here is just a great way to say hello to people um, Or to get out of the way. So just make sure uh, you're aware when you're driving I don't even dare to drive when I'm in Ho Chi Minh because I'm not that brave But outside of the main city, I don't mind riding bikes around. There is the famous Bun Tan Market. The Bun Tan Market is famous for food, fresh fruit, um, clothing, but it's a great place because honestly, I'm pretty sure I've been coming here since I was like three years old. There's so much construction being done in Vietnam. Vietnam recently opened itself to foreign investment. So it just makes it easier for them to attract different people from around the world to come invest in Vietnam. It's about 90, 85 degrees to 90 degrees here. But do you notice how the locals are all wearing like long sleeves and jackets and have no problem with it. 
I have no idea. Guys, I am sweating. All right, so instead of saying the name over and over again, I'm actually going to tell you what the Bunton Market is. It's a place for vendors to come sell their goods. This practice has been going on since so the 17th century. This location was built in 1985. I've been here multiple times. It has great food, it has great fruit, and it has a great energy to come see how the people are interacting every day and just see the quick life of Vietnam. Be warned though, this is a high risk area for monks begging for money that aren't actually monks, so you could get scammed, so be careful. Quick heads up, Justin's more of a night guy, so he doesn't show up mostly in the day footage, but he finally woke up and came and met up with me, so here he is. This is Vietnam's independent palace. If you guys know anything about history, or if, even if you don't know, it's a really important to the Vietnamese history, what happened here. That's the famous falling of Saigon photo where everyone's holding on to the helicopter from Independence Palace. I've actually been here three times in the last like six months. So I'm not gonna go in this time. I'll add some pictures from the last time I was. Now I'm gonna take a second to tell you guys why it means so much to me when I get to come to places like this. Not only am I a Vietnamese American, but this is where my parents are from. My parents had to leave their home country during a war. It's something I'll never understand. They made that sacrifice so I could have a better life. My dad was 15 years old when he had to flee this country on a boat and become a refugee of a war. He came here and he became a orphan by himself. And he did that. He lived the American dream and he gave us the opportunity to have a better education. And we were able to put ourselves into positions to be able to travel and see amazing things that they would never and they never could see when they were our age. So thank you to mom and dad. I love you guys. Over to the famous Notre Dame Cathedral in uh, Ho Chi Minh. It's right across the park over there. So we're gonna take a walk over and you can see traffic has picked up a little bit from since this morning and there are tons of scooters. The great thing is about Vietnam in November is it's not that hot. It's still humid outside, but it's about 80, 83 degrees and it feels way better than it did when we were here in July. Right, Justin? Nice little light breeze. Light breeze. Walking in the streets in July takes was, the life out of you. That was a challenge. If you guys need pizza, pasta, wings, and beer right there, obviously that's where you want to go. Yeah, so the one thing in Vietnam, you can actually ride on the sidewalk here. You just do whatever the hell you want. Look at this. <laughs> I almost got clipped about 10 times. Look at this. Oh, ciao. Uh, 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 all right so we just are crossing the street very carefully because there are no rules here and you'll make it safely as long as you keep a constant speed and you don't look like you're scared he was scared i was a little scared he was scared <laughs> and this is the famous notre dame cathedral all right, so this beauty right here was built during the French colonization of Vietnam, which lasted around eight years. During this time, Vietnamese culture got a lot of French influence, especially with the food. So nowadays we have the baguette we use during the bami sandwich, and we have broth in pho, such as broth in France. Another historic building right across the street, Saigon Central Post Office built in 1891 and it's still called Saigon even though the city's been changed to Ho Chi Minh. So it looks like it's about to storm pretty bad. Um, so we're gonna try to make it home before the rain hits. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's getting pretty dark up there. And now with the weather taking a turn for the worse and our extreme jet lag, we decided to head home and honestly, we just passed out. All right, well, it was a wonderful, quick little trip to Ho Chi Minh. I was so jet lagged. Um, we're on the way to the airport now. Uh, we are going to leave for Hanoi today. Guys, leaving this beautiful view. Justin, how you feeling? I'm good, man. Feeling good, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. We are on the way. 